This is an overview of the circle number widget by Limited Elements. Let's get started. To get started, drag the circle number widget into your Elementor column. What this widget does, it's just a circle with a number inside of it, and you can style this in many different types of way and link it also. You can also use this actually for not just numbers but any text, but usually users use it for a number, just like I'm going to use it right here in the demo for labeling my content boxes. So the first thing I'm going to do is jump into style. I'm going to align this to the left. Now I can play around with the size of the circle if I want to. So I think this size looks good. If you don't want it to stay as a circle, you can push down the border radius and make it less rounded. I'm going to leave it as a circle. To change the typography inside, we have a typography field, so you can also make the number a bit bigger and maybe choose a different font type. So I'll choose this font type, for example, which looks awesome. And we can also change the text color. So let's change the text color to yellowish and you can also change the background color so let's go for a background color like this and in background you also have an option to make this background a gradient maybe i'll show that later in the tutorial we can also give a border so let's choose border over here and as you can see now we're giving it a border and i'm going to change the color and let's change the width as well. We can also change the type over here. So dotted, for example. Awesome. So this is looking really, really cool. Now I'm going to duplicate it. Copy, paste, move it on top, change the number to whatever I want. Copy, paste, and change the number to whatever I want looking really good. I'll just show you an example of how this looks with a gradient. So over here in the background, I'm going to change this into a gradient. And what's nice when using gradients is that you can change the gradient into radial instead of linear. And now this suits the circle even more. Play around with the colors to get an effect that you're happy with. And that's it, you're done. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and I'll see you in the next video.